Hello everyone. This is part one of signals and systems. In this session, we will learn what is a signal and what is a system. Signal, which is a commonly used word in our day-to-day -day life. So let us understand how to define this signal. And we come across the word system. So what do you mean by a system? And what are the inputs and what are the outputs for a system? Let us understand these two terms by considering examples. So what is a signal? The first question comes into our mind is what is a signal? The human communication takes place through a speech signal. That is the words which are spoken by a person is transmitted in the form of a signal which is called a speech signal. One more form of the human communication is through image that is also a signal which is called image signal which conveys some information. Heartbeat and pulse which conveys about a patient's illness. So by looking at the signals of blood pressure, heartbeat and pulse, doctor is able to identify any illness present in patient. Weather forecast which is very much required in our day-to-day -day life activities as well, which shows us the temperature, humidity and rainfall. Like this, signals are very much closely associated in our day-to-day -day life activities. With these examples, let us define what is a signal. So, signal is formally defined as a function of one hour more variables that convey information. The speech signal carries some information which is varying with respect to time. So I can say that speech signal is a one-dimensional signal as it is varying with respect to time. When you listen to my voice, sometimes it will be high in pitch and sometimes it will be low in pitch. That is, it is varying with respect to time. So, I can say that it is a one-dimensional signal. When you look at the image on the screen, which is varying with respect to horizontal and vertical axis, you can say that image is a multi-dimensional signal. If a signal is varying with respect to a single variable, it's called a one-dimensional Whereas if it is varying with respect to two variables, we can say that it is a multi-dimensional signal. Now we know what is a signal. Is the signal exist on its own? Certainly not. Once we know the signal, there should be some device which is processing this signal, which is called a system. So, System is formally defined as an entity that manipulates one or more signals to accomplish a function thereby yielding new signal. Simple example is speech signal. The voice which is delivered by me is reaching to your ears. Ears are processing the signal and you are producing some response signal. So the response is nothing but it's a new signal. So in simple words, I can say that our body itself is a system which is producing some signals, right? Like this, signals and systems are common words which we come across in our day-to-day -day life. So we can say that for a system, input and output are signals. So let us list out some applications of signals. Communication system which is very much important in our day-to-day -day life. In control systems, microelectromechanical systems, in remote sensing, biomedical signal processing and in auditory systems. These are to name few applications of signals. I hope that with this 
the basic definition of signals and systems are clear for you in next session we will discuss types of signals please subscribe to our channel for latest updates thank you for listening and have a nice day